<laughs> Sorry, my voice went out. <laughs> um, I just wanted to get on. Oops, let me not shake this, huh? Just wanted to get on here quickly, please. Um, I was up all night. Gavin Grammy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love her so much. She has me hooked. I'm not going to say what it is because I don't know if she showed it yet. I know she did on her Instagram. But oh my goodness, she has me hooked on this project. <laughs> so I was like up most of the night last night doing it. <laughs> I was like, I got to get this done. Oh my goodness, it's so much fun. But I'll show that then. But I'm going to wait to show it because I'm not going to show it until she does I have to check out her videos later today and see if she did because that's all all her projects and so out of respect for her that I truly do have for her I'm going to let her you know show it first and then I'll show my thing but oh it's addicting like <laughs> it's so addicting oh it really is so I wanted to talk about the video that we posted yesterday. It was a lot of fun for us. Um, I'm, we're going to do it again today a lot better. We're going to actually walk around so you can see things. It was so crazy yesterday when we went out. And I thought, oh, no one's going to be out. And they were all over the place. So I want to be able to really like show it better and not like drive by and be like, oh, did you see that? <laughs> you know. But I did want to say something. And this would be the first and the last time I ever say anything because um, I don't want the channel to be, you know, about, you know, things like that. Um, but anyway, um, we are re really religious and what we believe in, I would never force on anybody, okay? Um, I don't like haunted things or things like that. Like, I don't like that personally. Um, I'm a big chicken, as you know, with the beetle. <laughs> I'm the biggest chicken you will ever meet. However, I do want to say this. Whatever you, whatever you believe in, whatever your religion is, I 100% respect you, and we will never judge you. Like, we have so much love for everybody. We truly do. All of us. Like, if you came, like, um, Crochet A Canada, for example, you know, she was talking about how, um, well, things she's, you know, she goes to the cemetery, things she feels, and, you know, like, she won't walk on the graves and stuff like that, and I truly had respect for that, you know, like, and I felt so bad, I thought, oh my goodness, I hope I didn't upset her with our video, like, that's one thing I don't want to do, I don't ever want to upset anybody with things that I ever posed or ever say, you know, like, I was trying yesterday to watch certain things that I said because I don't want to, you know, I don't, I don't want to upset anybody. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings or make them like, I don't know, feel bad because that's not who we're about. I love the Bible. We read it. I read it all the time. Um, you know, <clears throat> and that's how, but that's me, you know, that's us. Whatever you choose, again, I highly respect that. Like, I would never be like, what? You like that? Like, ooh, oh no. You know, mm -mm, nope. That is not us. Like, if you ever wanted to say, oh, you know, this is what I think, I would fully listen. And I would never say, well, you're wrong. It's this way. Nope. I would, like, I would have respect for you. And, you know, be like, oh, well, you know what? That's really cool. You know, like, that's who I am. That's who we are, I'm going to say. Sorry. <laughs> That's who we truly are. Um, we never judge anybody, and I would never judge anybody, and I would never want to hurt your feelings or make you feel any type of way with things that we say. We are, we just love, like, well, my husband's really into history, but I love, like, ugh. I know I say, like, I want to dig somebody up. I don't mean literally dig them up. I just mean, like, ooh, I want to dig into their life. Like, I want to learn who they were. I want to know this. Like, I try to, like, search names up and try to get things. It just gives you, like, the year and their family member. I want to see pictures, you know. I want to feel things. I want to, like, I want to know who you were, like, what you did. Like, that stuff interests me because, like, I love reading about people's lives and, you know, <clears throat> things like that. Uh, back in when I was middle school, 
sorry, my dog is licking my hand. When I was in middle school, we used to go, there was a program, and every Tuesday, you had the opportunity to either go to, like, an old folks home, or, um, you, like, do different programs. Well, I chose to go to the old folks, old folks home. So, we would go there, nursing home, I'm gonna say nursing home. I'm sorry, we call them old folks homes, but I don't wanna, like, older people homes there we go so anyway we would go there and we would sit and talk and at first it would be like grumpy like oh you're on a deal on this you know but then when we we're like they saw how sweet and nice we were and actually we, like really truly really cared then they like opened up and like oh we would hear stories and things and that to me i think that's where i got my start of it at all where i really wanted to know like uh more about people's lives and just just like you know, everything, you know, like, I, seriously, I get into true details, I'm not, like, trying to, like, idolize that person or anything, but, like, I really, like, um, I don't know, like, I want to know, like, what was it like to walk a life in their, a day in their life, you know, like, what do they do, like, and I'm really interested in, like, old foods that they used to cook, like, back in the day. Like, we have this Amish cookbook, and it was, like, Amish foods. And, like, um, what was the other one that my husband had? Like, the Wild Wild West. Like, you know, how they used to cook, like, foods on that little pot and camper foods or some, things like that. And, like, I don't like to try things out and be like, oh, you know, like, it might be you know, I not like it, but back then, those are the things that, you know, they would eat, and, um, sorry, I had an eyelash right there, and I was like, oh, it was like poking my eyeball, <laughs> but anyway, like, those are the things that are like, I don't know, they're just so cool to me, like, uh, I just love that stuff, so that's what I mean, when I mean, like, digging somebody up, I don't, I don't really want to, like, day them up and see their, oh, I do like mummies, but, um, I just think it's cool how they, like, they mummify them, and, like, you know, like, I don't know, I think it's, like, it's just, it's interesting to me, like, I love, like, dinosaur bones, and, um, you know, things like that, like, that, like, I don't know, it just interests me, you know, like, wow, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm just really drawn to, like, you know, cool, th like, <clears throat> for the past, I think it's because I was getting sick so much, my throat's scratchy, and so it goes in and out. So I truly do apologize for that. Because it's annoying me, so I'm pretty sure it's probably annoying you, and I truly, I'm sorry. But yeah, um, I just love that stuff. I love, like, the history and of people's lives and you know like the um uh black history month like they used to come to the school <clears throat> i'm so sorry again but they used to come to the school and like oh i really miss this i wish they would bring that back because that was really cool they would come to the school and reenact things and like how it was working on like the railroads and um you know, what it was really like, and, uh, like, that just gets to your mind, like, wow, you know, and it makes you feel like you're there, and what a person went through, and then you just feel it in your heart so much more, like, wow, they went through that, and they, they were that strong, like, they went through that, and they did it, and, like, it gives you strength, because, like, like I said, I mean, love the Bible, so, so many Bible stories that I read, and I'm like, oh, wow, like, that's me, you know, like, wow, they went through that, I can too, and so, you know, like, we draw strength from God, but whoever you draw strength from, you know, great, draw that strength, that's what I'm trying to say, you know, but like I said, like, when you read these stories, it just, like, it gets to your heart. Like, that's what I mean. Like, the food and opera house, for example. Like, the Indian things. Like, I didn't think that was cool. Like, that, oh, to be tortured. That, like, it, it gets you angry. But those are feelings that you should feel. Like, you should feel these things. So, you don't want that in the world. You know what I mean? You get what I'm trying to say? Like, you don't want those things in the world. And so, that's what I mean. Like, it's nice to go through tours and 
to do these things because it's an eye opener and it teaches you so much more and it makes you a better person because then when you see a Native American you can like wow like the things your family went through and the things you still go through you know or anybody like you know um the Jewish uh the Holocaust and you know I'm just saying anybody anybody it doesn't even have to be like old history things it could be health issues whatever like you just feel for that person so much more <clears throat> and what they went through and it's just like I don't know so that's what I mean when I say like I want to dig somebody up I mean I do want to fill the clothes like uh but it's not I just want to like I love watching like old movies and seeing their big beautiful dresses and oh that's what I'm trying to say like I, like back then imagine because things back then were like 50 cents and to us that'd be like like a hundred dollars right but like oh just to go back and be able to like fill the materials you want to say hi Sleep, hi sleepy head <laughs> the fill the materials and everything like oh. that's the stuff that I'm talking about like oh, like I don't literally want to see them and you know but oh, I just want to like I guess pictures maybe that would that would be happy that would, that would make me happy but yeah but anyway yes I truly hope I mean no one said anything to me it was just thoughts that weighed heavy on my mind because I thought oh I hope one everybody liked the video and two I didn't want to upset anybody like that's one thing that I always worry about with all my videos to make because I know sometimes I could talk fast and I apologize it's sometimes like my, my pills and I feel like oh I gotta get it in you know <laughs> um but yeah like I never want to we like I said like I truly do have so much love for everybody I never want to like make anybody upset so yeah because that's a, like we were like we love going to the, the um cemeteries because we have really beautiful ones like oh like I, it just makes you think, like, where did they think to create that tombstone? Like, you know, like that, um, the doctor mausoleum. Like, I want to know. Like, and I tried looking it up. There's nothing on it. So, that's something I would just love to know. Like, how do they think of that? Why were there Egyptian, um, what are they called? Sphinxes? Out there. Like, why are these things? Like, those are the things I'm talking about. You know, like, uh, and then there was this one cool grave, and her name was Cinderella, and get this, it was Cinderella way before, I mean, it was like 1800, something like that, so it had to be way before the Cinderella story, and I was like, wow, like, someone's name, is, I thought that was a made-up name for, like, you know, Disney, or, um, what was it, one of those books, oh my goodness, I love those books, Grimm's, no. Grimm's books, Disney coloring books, oh, Disney coloring books, but, uh, but anyway, I think you, you might know what I'm talking about, but the old, like, storybooks. But I always thought Cinderella was, like, a made-up name, and, you know, called her Cinderella because the ashes, the it cinder was. ashes or something like that. So I just thought, well, that's made up. But it was uh, so cool when we went, we were geocaching, mm -hmm. and, um, we actually went to, like, hold on, baby, we went to the grave, and I was like, oh, my goodness, look, Cinderella. And it was just like, wow, you know, so those are cool, like, to be able to, to see those things, and then I was like, oh, man, like, again, I wonder what, like, they were wearing, you know, I wonder what, like, their lives were like, like, that kind of stuff is what I'm talking about, like, that's what I mean by digging, like, I don't want to, like, get a shovel and be like, let me dig this up, let me crack this <laughs> open, <laughs> they, that's right, in the back of Aladdin, they do have Cinderella, baby, you got a hair right there, your other eye. Yeah, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> oh, my hand went numb. But, yeah. So, those are just, you know, I just wanted to get on here quickly because that was really weighing on me all day. Like, even when we did the video, I was like, one, I hope I didn't make anybody sick with, like, the drive-in because I know I could get sick. Two, I really hope, like, no one had, you know, got offended by anything that we were talking about, because we were like, hocus pocus, we do that for the kids, but, yeah, um, but, 
just because we believe in certain things does not mean that we put anybody down for your beliefs because your beliefs matter to you and that's what's important to you and we would never you know do any say anything that would upset you or you know per- on purpose like i'm not gonna be like oh you believe in this ha 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 fakeness so like, no. twinsies mm. again twinsies <laughs> so yeah that's what I wanted to get on here and say because, like I said, no one said anything. It was just on my mind. Like, I always get, like, gu- guilty feelings and things like, like, did I do this video right? I hope I did because I watch everybody and your videos are so professional. And I feel like I'm so jumbled. <laughs> um, but it's just me. Like, my head's always jumbled. And then I get the really excitable for things. And then, like, <laughs> when I create something, I'm like, oh, my goodness. I got, you know, like, all, or, like, all of a sudden, like, if I get an idea, I have to say it because I will forget. <laughs> I will forget. So then if I say it and I get it out ahead of time, then I'm not going to forget. But, yeah. Okay. You'll get more oh, yeah, I'll get more subscribers. <laughs> it's not even about, I mean, I love getting more subscribers, but I do this for fun. I do this because... It opens my sh- cracks my shell, gets me out of being the shy person that I that I am and things and yeah. And yesterday was just a fun day for us, um, but we definitely want to do it again because my husband goes, I really want to be because you couldn't hear his story. He goes, I really want to be able to tell that story better because it's just, I mean, I know people believe it, but it's just it's just a crazy thing. Like I wonder who thought of that. Like. Like, somebody's like, I'm going to make this story up on this thing, you know, like, I mean, she really did pass away on her wedding day, but it's also like, how did they go about, like, saying, like, adding on, adding on, adding on, you know, that's how urban legends, everybody adds on a little piece and adds on another piece, and then you tell your friend, did you hear this? I heard, and then they also add on something, you know, so that's what we were trying to, like, you know, make it fun, like, they hear our local things, like, that well, some do believe in, and that's okay again, but, um, yeah, but, well, that's all I wanted to say, I am going to get on here, um, but Monday with things that I have to show, and then I'm going to do the two patterns, because I didn't get to do it last Monday, because being so sick, like I said, I'm feeling a lot better, and thank you so much for caring, and also saying that you're happy and feeling better oh <laughs> like yeah when we got home lately i was like okay i need to sit because we we're gonna go actually go back out i was like no nope, i can't go we got to stay home so and then i was up all night <laughs> darn you Kevin Mary. no 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 oh my goodness Ugh. and if you didn't you have to check out her instagram and see what it is gorgeous. Like, oh my goodness. Like, everything she was showing me, I was like, oh my goodness. I freaking love it. Like, and then the things like she was talking to me about, I was like, oh my goodness. Like, my mind was being blown. My husband was like, what? And he even said, and my husband's like, like, he's not, well, he is crafty in like certain <laughs> He's like crafty in certain ways. <laughs> he's crafty in certain ways, but like, um, he, he gets really excited before, like, crochet things, which is so cute because he'll see something, oh, man, look at that, you know? So, like, and even, like, certain yarns, he'll be like, did you see this, you know? And that was, um, I'm like, I'm like, well, like <laughs> but that was funny about the yarn shop. He was Hello. like, oh, that yarn shop, you are so right about that place. I said, see, I told you. And he was like, yeah, one little, he called it, what did he call it? Not a skein. It was a funny, <laughs> it was funny what he called it, but it was, but he was like, one little skein was like this much. I know you could do better. And it was just, it was cute. Because how he truly does, like, pay attention yeah. to things. But anyway, yeah. um, Gab, Gab and Grammy, she texted me and she showed me, like, little things, um, pictures. And then I showed on my Instagram. I was like, did you see this? And then, so he took me out to get, like, what I needed for the project. But oh my goodness, he goes, that is gorgeous. I was like, right. He goes, wow, she did that. I said, yeah, she did that. He was like, blown. He goes, wow. He was like, that is so 
cool. He goes, I would like a wallet like that, but in like manly colors. And I was like, well, let me try to do this and I'll make you one. But yeah, it was so cool. So he was like, it's cool that like he shares this, you know, with me. Like he really gets like excitable about things that make you like, whoa, I can't believe you did that. Like he goes, I always have faith you can do it. So it's really cute. Like, and like he does like sit there and he'll watch videos. And I'm like, did you see what they made? He's like, oh man. Like he gets really excitable about things others make as well and so it's really cute like he's like he's like it's sometimes like last night i was laying in bed well i was like doing my thing in bed and i noticed and he's like watching not one of my videos but one of my people's videos he's like and i heard him like wow that's so cool like <laughs> so it's cute seeing him like do those things on his own like and i'll catch him but i act like i don't catch him so we don't know but yeah it's cute seeing those oh. things because he gets like he was like do you think it's okay oh. if i get on your video i was like yeah they saw you before he goes i know but i just have like a lot of say and we're all about history <laughs> and i was like yeah you could like get on there and see those things so he was like so excited yesterday to like do things he goes you couldn't hear my story so we're gonna go out today and do it better but be better <sighs> and i was doing so good <laughs> better spider yeah and i was doing so good so he was like, you know what, we're going to get out there, we're going to do it better today. I was like, okay, well, we can do that. And he goes, um, he has to explain things better because he, he just loves showing things. He goes, I'll even walk, like, park, and I can walk down to the square and be able to show it. So that's what we're going to do because I think the square is really cool. Like, I always thought that was, like, really cool. Like, the way. old buildings. I love, like, did you ever, like, just drive around your, your town and you see, like, a really old building and you just wish... You could, like, go back in the day and be like, I wonder what that looked like, you know? By the way. By the way, what? I love that place. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, and I think it's important to show, you know, the kids, like, not to be scared, you know, things like that. So, yeah. It's just, so we're going to try to do it again to so get ready for that video today. Um, it's going to be a lot better. Because <laughs> yesterday we were so upset. It was like so extra pow powdered. Pow. I was doing so. <laughs> I, I'm telling you. It was so it's extra. So extra powdered. <laughs> powdered. But it was so crowded. And then I forgot. I was like, oh. So we were so excited because I forgot it was first Friday. For some reason I kept thinking it was Saturday. Today is Saturday. But I would have loved to have been able to show you the first Friday because it's warmer out and it was actually sunny and it was supposed to rain but it was sunny so they actually had all their little stands out and oh I wanted to show you but it was so over dramatically packed because of the 4th of July and and I do have respect for people like I don't want to like show somebody you know like I don't like that. I want it, like, I, I feel uncomfortable, like, yesterday to show my body. Like, even though, like, I lost a lot of weight, I was like, oh, I look so fat. You know, like, my husband was like, you I look great. You, know. you look great. And he was like, plus you have to think about the camera angles. And I was like, oh, you know, like, I don't like this. Like, that's why, like, I always show it like this because I look, Ugh. and then when I look like this, meh. <laughs> but I just have to get out of my head like that because, you know. I have health issues, I truly do, that make me chunk chunk. And that's okay. I'm still losing weight, I'm still doing what I gotta do, and I'm very happy of how far and proud of how far I came, because I came a long way, okay, a very long way. And one day I'll show you pictures of how far I've come, but yeah. So, it was just fun. So, I hope you really did enjoy the video yesterday. I hope you truly enjoyed the one today. Um, I do want to go to the yarn shops because we were going to do that yesterday. And so, the one that we went to, that was really cool. There were so many yarns. And the camera didn't even do justice because there was just one. And it would, and I'm, <sighs> see, I want to say, but I don't want to say, I don't say because she already knows she's getting a, bo a box. Is, um, I got it for crochet A. Uh, it was her colors. It was like the burgundies and red, but it came out orange, but it wasn't. It had like a little sparkle, but it, oh, I'm telling you, it was so silky. And it was, as she told me she can do alpaca, but if she couldn't, she was going to send it to, I'm not going to say who she was going to send it to, but she was going to send it to somebody else, which is totally okay. Oh, sorry, my hand went numb. I have carpal tunnel and my hand goes numb if I like 
hold it a certain way for someone careful careful oh my goodness careful baby mommy's boo boo i had to get blood yesterday and look at this I didn't go. Uh, I did this. it never hurts when they do it um but after the fact it gets sore and it hurts so that's what's probably getting my hand today but anyway uh it was so beautiful and cabin grammy look in that video because they had cotton and it was soft cotton and she had all different weights so if you want any i will be so happy to send it to you um but i'm gonna do a better video again um and show more of it i get par like not me personally but around like large crowds and people so that does that so i was like trying to be like super super quick and not that anybody was in the yard shop but i was worried you know that there would be a, a trigger and i didn't want that but it was, she was so happy and so sweet so it was fun so we're gonna go back and try to do that again and i could like show things better i want to take my good camera because it brings out the color and that way you can oh yeah it won't well i have that strap that goes around the neck remember oh did you see his little horse video he was so happy to do that so yeah um Oh. That's <laughs> that was so funny. She is totally okay. If you hear us laughing, I will never laugh at my child. They got hurt. I'm, I would have threw the phone and be like, "Are you okay, my baby?" But she was, she was laughing, so that's why we laughed. But it was funny she fell. because I almost, <laughs> I almost fell. If you heard my scream, and then she goes, "This is why it's called baby steps." And then she's like, and then she. It was just funny. But yeah, I would never laugh if they and actually hurt themselves. I think she ha booty butt. <laughs> yeah, and then later on she's like, my booty hurts. <laughs> but I checked her. She's okay. It was just funny. She was laughing. She was like, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> and I said, hey. So it was funny. She was like, no, it was really funny. But yeah. um, That yarn. Like, I love, I cannot wait. I'm going to do it. Um, when everybody, all the, um, tourists and, uh, vacationers go away, we are going to do a yarn, because I'm telling you, like, we have so many, like, little shops, um, I would have to go, like, we have Amish farms, but see, it's at their house, and you go and you, like, pick up the yarn, so I'll have to probably take pictures and insert them of that yarn for use because unless they have like a stand then I can show the actual stand but sometimes they don't have a stand so mm. having like nicely laid out and then oh that's so pretty you want to show no you gotta put it up to here he does can you see oh oh there we go he likes the color on his little tablet but um yeah so they'll like have it on a stand so I'll probably like snap a pic and stuff like that unless they say it's okay to do a video then I'll do it so yeah so I can't wait for that but I had to show you that one shop and what's so cool about that shop is a snow owl okay that's I think they're from Canada actually flew down here once and was in that tree and she and it was like all these people came to see the snow owl and I was like oh my goodness that's so so cool and in that area is where I saw my very first owl and I cried like I bawled my eyes up I mean I seen 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 seen, seen, seen <laughs> I seen um ones in zoos and stuff like this but this was in nature and uh, I love nature like I really do love nature I'm just scared of those thick cicadas 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 oh those freak me out those are the ones that just and they rattle like every August, like a meeting called or something, and then like their shells. Ooh. Like I have issues with skin. Um, and also, like we have a little gecko. Also, I love snakes. Ooh, I love snakes. I love geckos. But when they shed, ooh, I don't know why that freaks me out so also, much. I'm so weird with that. It just freaks me out so much that if I see the skin. Yeah, if you I will scream, I will run, I will, I like, I get so paranoid, <laughs> like, so, when I saw that bug, I was like, okay, I'm cool, I'm cool, next day, I was like, it's coming near me, <laughs> so, yeah, it's only yeah. those, and crickets, ooh, crickets, and I don't like spiders, I don't even like those cute little fuzzy ones that 
have little cat and balls. Oh no, you can meow. You could fetch a ball. What? I will still. <laughs> I will get the bare finger. I will <laughs> kick you out of my house. Like oh, that freaks me out. But um, yeah, I'm not afraid. Like I'm. It's so weird because <laughs> I grew up. What? What? It is so crazy. Cause By the I'm, way, she's animal whisper. Yeah. I love animals. Like, all types of animals. Nothing, no animal will ever freak me out. And Bugs are a different story. The first one is an owl. That's right. Bugs and a, pig. and a pig. Bugs are a different story, though. I get so freaked out with bugs. But, um, it's so weird because I'm a girly girl. I love glitter. I love my nails. I love, you know, getting my hair done. I love makeup. Um... I love so many things, like girly girl over the top, but I'm not afraid to like get dirty. I'm not afraid to be out there and do this and do that. But let me see a bug. I'm back to being a girly girl and I'm running and screaming. <laughs> but I love like those roly poly bugs. Oh, they're so cute. You know, the little gray ones that like you touch and they roll up in a ball. I love those. I, worms don't bother me. Oh, I love caterpillars. It's just a freaky looking ones. Oh, wow. like no. Like, I won't kill you, but just get away from me. Like, oh, my God. Like, yesterday I was like, kill it. But then I was like, don't kill it. Just push it away. Because <laughs> that's what I mean. Like, just uh, get it away from me. Like, uh, because that. they do help. I'm sorry. She's a killer. Yeah, like, they do help, you know, things. Just help, like, do that away from me, please. And they know I'm scared. They sense it. They smell it. <laughs> don't shake, baby. Okay? Thank you for the kisses, but yeah. Um, but anyway, I can't wait to show all the yarn shots. I was so happy that we found that one, and I just had to go in and show you that. Uh, and she's so sweet. But it was so cool, like, how she does, like, the looms. Like, um, how she wraps the yarn, like, spins it. Just, oh, I want to do that so bad. Like, because oh, I could just... What's in my mind and the colorways that I would do, like the dyeing of the yarn and how I would spin it and, oh man, I just wish I could put it down. Like I say that all the time because I see everybody with the, oh, is it, furls, furls hooks. Those are so cool, but every time I see these cool hooks, it makes me think of my dad because my dad was a woodworker and, um, he had this machine this really cool and here's the funny thing about that machine it was from world war ii era and it was my grandfather's machine and it still ran and it was like this cool woodworking machine that did like um the spindles on um posts and things like that but you can also do like hooks and things like he would make the coolest little things um he would take wood and he would make these little things and he, I don't know how he did it, but he would do the coolest, um, pictures in a glass bottle, like a long pick and just go in the bottle and do it. Cause that bottle was never cut. Like he would go in and do it. Oh man, it was so cool. The things he could do. But anyway, it always makes me think of my dad because I'm like, man, if my dad was still alive and he's been gone for 17 years. It feels like yesterday, but anyway, no tears. Um, if he was still alive, oh my goodness. And he, because he never got to see my crochet. He didn't even know anything about my crochet. Um, but if he got to see that, because he loved what my mom could do, and I showed him these hooks, he would be down in his basement, which was his work area, and he would have been making the coolest hooks ever and he knew how to do like all that epoxy and like all that um i want to say vinyl uh i know what it's called but he knew how to do all that man oh like my dad was like a like i know he's my dad but truly like he was a wood genius like man the things he would create i'll have to dig out my box of pictures and show you but man it was just gorgeous and he would just sit there and talk spanish and be like right and like draw these pictures and like like how i get like i'm like okay okay you know like he like me and him were so much similar in, the, in those types of ways when we get ideals we're like okay 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 and like draw in and write it down so 
um, here babe, it was like so cool like how he would do this, and me and him are similar a lot in those ways, I'll catch myself like, oh my goodness, I'm so my dad, <laughs> but um, yeah, especially with like the colors like we put together, sorry, but yeah, so anyway, he would make the coolest hooks ever, and then he would have been like, <laughs> I'll be on your video, and then you wouldn't have had to understand him, and I would have had to like, put it underneath what he said, <laughs> but, I mean, because he had like a thick accent, you could have probably understood him, but he had a cute, a cool thick accent, so, yeah, one day, <laughs> it was so funny, um, my favorite color is purple, my mom's favorite color is purple, and his favorite color is purple. But one day he was like, Brenda! And he always wore t-shirts and suspenders. <laughs> my mom used to call him Mario, because that's what he used to wear, like, these thin t-shirts, hey, hey, um, cotton t-shirts, and then um, suspenders. I'll show you a pic one day. And um, maybe in the end of the next video, I'll try to find pictures of what he made, and then I'll show you a picture of my dad. So it was like, <laughs> me and my brother were in the room, we were like playing, and he was like, Brenda, where's my boy bull shirt? My boy bull shirt. And we were dying, him, and I know he heard us because he kept saying boy bull like over a thousand times. We were cracking up laughing, like we had tears on our face. Like I'm not doing it justice how he said it, but it was like so funny how he said it. And <laughs> like the, the stories like he would say, I'll tell you one more. I'm sorry. Um, so when he he was from Puerto Rico, San Juan, and he moved here. And when he moved here, him and his buddy lived like in this apartment. He was like they were poor. <laughs> I'm not laughing at that part. I'm laughing at the story. He was like one day we were so hungry. I'm gonna try to be him. We were so hungry that uh, um, you know we had peanut butter and bread, and we were so sick of it that we laid in bed and we closed our eyes and we were like. Ooh, this is a pork choppe. <laughs> but it was so funny how he said it. Like, him and my uncle, oh my goodness, they can make me laugh so much. I'm going to see if my uncle will be on here and tell some stories. I'm pretty sure he will. But man, the stories they have me dying. Like, just because their accents and the things they say, it just cracks you up so bad. And it's not like picking on them because they didn't, like, they. Like, uh, it's just so funny how they say these things. And the story, she was like, yeah, we were like, mmm, can you taste that grease? And I was dying. I was like, who thinks of that? And he was like, man, yeah, like, that story was hilarious. Um, it was just so funny. All right, one more story and then I'm out. Because now I'm on memory lane. So what? <laughs> All right, this is about my mom and my dad. My nose got stuffed. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> um, the the sun's coming out. The pollen's coming out, and it's uh clogging my nose. So if I sound like a mess, that's why. So anyway, my mom, she was addicted. When I say addicted, I mean like she should have been locked up. <laughs> she should have been locked up. She was truly addicted. Addicted to Animal Crossing, okay? I mean, that woman had the Animal Crossing guide, and she would write down everything, where she found it, the time she found it, um, check mark everything off. Like, she had everything organized. She had tablets this thick filled with things. Um, you know, like, she was so addicted. And I found it first. So, I earned money. I bought myself a GameCube, and I bought myself Animal Crossing. So, one day... I introduced her, and that was the end of it. <laughs> I could never play it. Like, she would get up in the morning, and she would play that until, like, 12 at night. And my dad was like, it's so bad that in my sleep I hear, me, 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 so I was dying. And he goes, and why am I driving? And I see something, and I'm like, that's in her game. <laughs> so anyway. I was sleeping, and because I was a teenager, and that's what we did, we stayed up all night and slept all day, so I was sleeping, and he's like, knocking up the door, he's like, Jeanette, even though my name is Jeanette, um, and he named me, okay, you think he would have called me Janet, no, Jeanette, 
did you see your mom's Animal Crossing card? And I'm like, no. And she's down in the downstairs. She's like, yes, you did. You took it. I know you did. I know you took it because you don't like me playing. And none of you do, but this is my life. This is all I live for. This gives me joy. She's so dramatic. I was dying laughing. My dad's like, rolling his eyes, trying not to laugh. Like, we were like, and he was like, shh, because I'm like laughing. He was, I hear you up there. Both of you hate that I play this game. And mind you, she's downstairs flipping. She's like throwing cushions. She's like flipping things. She goes, that's it. <clears throat> How would you like it if I break this or that? And I'm like, I didn't do it. So he goes, could you come down and help look? So I'm like, yeah. So I'm downstairs. I'm like digging my hands in the sofa, in the side of the sofa because the cushions are off. I'm like doing all this stuff. And she's bawling. I'm telling you, full blown bawling. Like. She lost somebody in her life. <laughs> like she's like, ah, ha, 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 ha. like, and we were there, like, what is going on? Like, I'm like, should we admit her? Like, this is crazy. Like, she was ready to take the GameCube and like throw it at the TV. So she sits down and she had like this little area near oh. her seat, and <laughs> um, she had like, you know, like, okay, I'll show you. My little cup that has all my little hooks in it. She had that. Um, and then she had a, a hand towel. So she grabs her hand towel. She was like, oh, here it is. Here, Jeanette, put it in. Just like that. Just like that. She grabs her hand towel. It falls. Oh, here it is. Here, Jeanette, put it in for me. Me and my dad looked at each other like, what? And she's like, oh. I must have put it there last night and not remembered. <laughs> Can you believe that? So then, <laughs> we were like, what in the world? Like, you psycho. Like, so I'm like, okay. And like, I'm going upstairs. This is too much crazy for me. Like, this menopause, man. I hope I never go through this. I plug it in for her. I fix the sofa. She's like, da da da. Dee 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 playing it. So then, my dad's like, really? You're going to destroy all the house and this and that? I'm like, dude, just let it go. Like, we don't need crazy 2.0 coming back out. And then she's like, well, you know what? How about I go to the yard and I pull all of your flowers? How would you like that, huh? Because he had, like, this gorgeous yard. He, like, this man, I'm telling you, my father was a genius. He built, like, this beautiful gazebo. He dug a pond, a koi pond, and he did, like, the coolest thing. He loved his koi. He would pet, go out there and lay there on the ground petting his koi. He built a swing and, like, these stones he made along. I'll have to show you pictures. I do have pictures of our garden at the time. So, anyway. <laughs> so, he's like, oh. And he puts his hand on his hip. And he's like, hold on. You saw my blubber. <laughs> so he's like, oh, oh no, you didn't. And that is how he said it. And oh my goodness. I fell to the floor and I started dying laughing. I was like, this is my life right now. <laughs> I got crazy 2.0. I got delicious in the kitchen. Oh no, you didn't. And he said it just like that. He shook his head, his hand on his hip, and he snapped his finger. And he was like, <laughs> I was dying. I was like, so this is what my life becomes has become too. And I was the only one around. I was like, no one's gonna believe this story. Nobody. <laughs> Maybe my brother will because one time she went through menopause and she threw a sub because it didn't have many. So he would probably believe me, but <sighs> you know, the stories I have, man. And I told my husband, I said. I feel so bad for you when I go through menopause. <laughs> I said, lock me up. <laughs> because I saw my mom was crazy. Like, that was so funny. How it just turned off. Like, I'm telling you, like, full blown. Like, her eyes were red and puffy. Like, she just down her nose. And she was like, ah, ah. Like, she was, like, couldn't even talk. And all of a sudden, oh, here it is. Like, this high pitched squeaky voice. <laughs> I'm so cute and innocent. Sorry. <laughs> like, oh. Uh. Alyssa puts on a baby voice as me. It's squeaking me. You. <laughs> oh, man. I'm telling you. It's no wonder I'm cuckoo. <laughs> uh, but that's all. So, yeah. I wanted this to be a little video and it's, it's longer. But anyway, uh, 
get ready for our video. We're going to show around um, things. My husband's going to walk around and give you a tour of things and do his best, Mr. Hoots, in saying things because he's so excited. He goes, I'm so excited. And I said, well, I'm sure everybody's so excited to see too. So, yes, he's all happy. He was like, I got to do better. I got to show our people better. <laughs> it was so cute. I said, we will. We'll do it tomorrow. I said, I'm not going to delete it because we have comments. So I'll leave it up and then we can go again and show actually better. So really want you to get like a fill where we're from. But this one won't have the yarn in it. In it. <laughs> in it. But the next one, on um, the next time, like when I said, like when um tourists and the, um, vacationers when they clear out then I'll show because it is so overly packed and if they bought it they probably bought all the pretty good stuff and you won't get to see anything so um probably like in a couple weeks and we'll go and do the yarn shops because I'm so excited for that duh it's yarn right but no and also um fabric shops too because I like collect the fabric as well for like line in the inside of the bags and stuff like that and those quilts Weren't those quilts gorgeous? Like, my camera didn't even do justice to it. It was beautiful. And I know, like, not just the Amish hand sew because my mom back then used to hand sew as well. Um, I think it's a Dutch thing. It might just be old, and I don't mean to say old, but old time way thing, you know? Like, they used to hand sew instead of the electric um, sew machines like people use now. The easy way of life. <laughs> Whoops! Drop my phone. See, my hand went like completely numb. You could she probably like chop my. Took off her camera. Yeah, you could probably like chop my finger off it right now, and I probably won't feel it. It's that numb. Um. But yeah, so that's all, folks. Uh, I hope you are having a hooterific day. Um. Hope your creative minds are going, and if you are you know, doing anything this weekend. I hope you enjoy your time. If you're spending it with family, I truly do hope you have a really great and happy time with whoever you're, that you're with. And even if you're alone, have fun alone, you know, make something. So yeah, get that video on to you later and I'll see you Monday um, with things that I made. <laughs> but if Gab and Granny didn't, Grab and Granny, uh, I always call it Grab and Granny. I don't know why. My mind just anyway but um if she didn't show on her video yet then i'll hold that off until she does because i would like for her to show it first be the first ones because it's so cool like when i saw it, i was like oh my goodness like this is just the coolest thing ever and last like, thing i was like you're like a man woman <laughs> like i was like all crazy and i was like you're still i'm like yes don't worry about it <laughs> go back to bed <laughs> so uh as always have a hooterific day who in and out until later bye